Paul, commiserations to here on the opening day. What was your take on the game? Um, listen, I thought uh, we were a bit passive in the first five, ten minutes. Let them get into the game as we knew we would there at home. First home game for Blackpool and, um, you know, they started the work game really quickly. Um, we conceded the goal, which was poor from us. Lack of communication, when to go, when to press, when not to press. Uh, Joe makes a wonderful save and then we don't get the second ball. Um, so disappointment has begun a goal down, but then after that, um, you know, we were excellent. We were by far the better team. The second half was absolutely unbelievable. Chance after chance. Yeah, they had a couple of headers from the, from the Dean, which you expect. But we've just got to be more ruthless. You know, when, you, when you're on top of a game like that and you play the way you did in the second half, you've got to be ruthless. You've got to get goals. You know, yet gets a chance in the last minute. Just smash it as a goal, you know, rather than take a touch. You know, we're getting flick-ons and numbers at the far post. We're getting chances. And we're just, we're just not clinical enough. Um, and that's the most disappointing thing to come out of it. Because apart from that, I thought the lads were absolutely brilliant second half. So obviously, as you said there, you know, they're yeah. doing so much right, but just not the finishing touch or a pass going astray. And that's kind of, as a manager, must be, yeah, kind of leaves you scratching your head a bit, doesn't it? It, it does. It does. It's frustrating because you feel, you feel sorry for the lads because they put in a shift. You know, I said to them before the game, you know, what happens this year, we need to be competitive. But, you know, the results are important, but we have to be competitive. And I thought we were very, very competitive for every ball, you know, and um, you can see Blackpool out of the feet with 15, 20 minutes to go. Um, and the chances galore, especially down this right hand side with Junior, I thought it was absolutely amazing today. Uh, and just that final ball, final ball where we've got to get people in the box. Um, and we've told him this, you know, getting the penalty spot, just, it's just, maybe things didn't fall to us. You know, sometimes in games you'll probably play well and get beat, sometimes you'll play poorly and win. Uh, today was one of those games, as I said, um, and, you know, I'm disappointed because the lads deserve more. And, so, and obviously, the going forward hopefully you're going to have more players in the squad people coming back from injury people coming into mm. and then you've got options on the bench because I think you know Shane's the only one with any sort of experience on the bench you've got like half a dozen appearances to rub between the rest of the subs haven't you no absolutely it's part of Mitch and I think this are the kids that have been kids they're like young men but they've not had a lot of experience you look at you know Blackpool bringing along season season pros who played in the championship and you know look at our bench and thinking, who can, can we change it Shane Long's not done a lot of work this year in regards to on, on the training ground so he's a bit behind and then obviously you look at the bench and you've got you know, young, young kids so who have not experienced that. So, you know, that's where we're at the moment. I think people understand where we're at. Hopefully we can get you know, players through over the line. That'll be next year, next week, sorry. Remember the Loom's obviously signed. Scott Dan's going to be on the training ground. Lucas is another one who's going to be a bit away. So, Hutch didn't play. So, you're talking about five starters there. Um, but, listen, I think the lads were unbelievable the way they played. I'm really proud of them. Yeah, we didn't get the result. We're not always going to get the result. Uh, you're not always going to win games, but if they keep playing like that and competing like that, they'll be fine. I don't know, obviously, we can sometimes draw comparisons. We came here uh, sort of back in mm. the last season and uh, the scoreline was a bit harsh, but we certainly managed to control the game a lot better here. I know the result's the same in the sense we lost, but you can probably draw some comparisons, can't you, and hopefully see a better sign of the progress. Yeah, listen, I just said, I, 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 as a manager, you have to try and find positives, and I think today was a positive. People always look at the result, and I think you should always look at the results. I think the way we play, and you know, hopefully the fans now understood the way we understand the way we play. We got a great reception from them before and after the game. And as long as you put a shift in and work hard and be competitive, they'll they're, they're, they're tolerate that, whether we win, lose, or draw. Um, but yeah, last last year we came in, got beat 4-1. We were chasing the game with 2-1 because it was a different type of game. You know, we were trying to stay in the league last year, so it was a different type of pressure. Here, it's the start of the season. Um, so there wasn't much pressure on today, but we camped them in their own half. Um, just that final, final ball, that final thing that falls for you, that can get you back in the game. And uh, unfortunately, we didn't get it today. And I see obviously we've got a full, full week now, if you like, to <coughs> put it to Cardiff, and then we've got the Cup game. And then it's going to be, before you know it, we're in that really thick of this hugely busy August, mm. aren't we? So, um, yeah, it's another important week we've got coming up, and then hopefully a, a, another week setting ourselves for, for what's to come. Well, listen, I think it's important that we need to get bodies in. I think we, we, everyone looking at the bench today realise that we need to get bodies in and you know we haven't got that and that's why the next three four weeks is a case of getting a supporting act for the team that's going to start you know as I said it's a tough tough campaign it's 46 games and you need you need strength and depth and today no disrespect we haven't got that so we've got a lot of work to do you know if we're going to do that because you can't expect these players to play Saturday Tuesday Saturday Wednesday it doesn't work like that the championship's grueling so we need to make sure we try and get some players in next week